Hello guys, welcome to FMC SDMI Jetboard Interfacing Session. So we are from Digitronics Nepal and Logitronics. So here you are seeing FMC SDMI. This is the FMC SDMI card from Abinet. So we just have brought it up and here we have a Jetboard. So we have provided the power from wall mount adapter and actually we have SD card inserted here sorry inserted here and this is the FMC HDMI card where we have the HDMI input this is the HDMI input you can see here and this is the HDMI output white one is HDMI output so we just also have keyed the getting started guide from Abinet so this is the getting started guide for this FMC HDMI CA module so we are functioning we are taking inputs from this HDMI input which is given from like PC and we can also insert HDMI input from like cameras and it is goes into this Zinc processor x 70 cl CLG484-1 this is the Zinc processor and it executes the processing tax actually we don't have done anything processing it just is streaming now so this HDMI input is given to the processor then it uh, passes the process and it again sent back to this HDMI output so we have connected this HDMI output with our display monitor so we are going to see the output on display monitor so basically just explain about this actually we have uh, included the SD card just behind this card so there is the SD card and that SD card consists of boot.bin file actually boot.bin file is obtained from this card reference design from Avinet website and we just have set up the jumpers in the uh, specified function or specified setting so what we have here is actually we have jp7 and jp8 is ground jp9 and jp10 is 3.3 volt and jp11 is ground so our power is up here and program is running and FMC card is also growing. So we can even check the temperature of the uh, zinc processor. It is actually having the coolant also. So it is working well until it. So let's check about the uh, like UART communication line and we are going to check the uh, display on this HDMI output display on the monitor. So actually we have connected the power and we have USB UART, this, this is USB UART, so we have connected this USB UART with a Windows machine for now and we have inserted the, uh, we have installed the Teratom application which is serial terminal application, we are going to communicate Teratom with this UART port so we can function different operation with this input video in this board and FMC interface. Uh, so let's, let's see the uh, a Terra terminal application and the monitor display monitor. Uh, okay, exactly. Uh, this is what we are doing. We are actually uh, implementing the uh, HDMI input output FMC module with camera interface. Getting started user guide. Just follow this user guide, and you can just scroll down up here. And there are the, all the necessary steps. Actually, you you will also get the SD card bootable file with this user guide so you can just uh, get that boot.bin file and here is the hierarchy of which file is working for what type of application actually we don't have any uh, like external camera for this HDMI FMC module so we just have uh, provided the input from the HDMI so here are the steps first of all you have to format the SD card which is actually already available with Jerboard FVGA so you can format it and you can install the Teratom or other serial terminal application on your operating system of your PC and you can just install the necessary driver for UART that is this CP210X if you don't have you can just install this and you can just connect uh, insert that uh, SD card to board and you can connect the FMC module, you can connect the HDMI in and HDMI outputs 
and you can connect the power adapter to a chair board and you can insert the SD card then you can power up the chair board here are all the necessary steps you can just download this user guide and you can get it from the avnet website of that fmc hdmi cam module and you can just set up the uh, like baud rate and serial port settings and you can start the operation so here are the operation starting point and we can just see how to run the hdmi input so here we have the start hdmi actually this is the 3d default application we don't have to do anything we can do lots of things with this fmc hdmi cam module and jboard so we have uh, purchased it from avnet website and we can just have a start cam if we have connected the camera module we don't have anything so we just have run start on uh, space hdmi so this is this, this is the application which is actually running on Zinc processing system basically inside the Zinc processing system in PS section or ARM processor so the BT stream is actually ex executing the high speed FMC line and other uh, internal peripherals and processing system is executing the program or software so let's see output on HDMI display so here we can see the uh, display output on the screen so actually this screen is working real time while we like change the mouse position it is showing real time in the display so we just have connected the output of fmc hdmi hdmi output to the display this is uh, s2 display from bank uh, actually you can have different type of displays and it, it is working well and another interesting thing is can we can just uh, like uh, work real time with this uh, FMC HDMI jailboard interface with PC or uh, the input HDMI so input HDMI is showing real time in the display so there is no any lag so this is all the interface so guys thanks for watching we will have further more uh, tutorials and sessions and all the necessary user guides and reference design are, are listed in the listed in the uh, link or, or, or the caption below uh, in, in the introduction section of video you can see these steps and meet you in another video thanks for watching